Then keep it in the pocket. The moment they see Arabic, Allah's kalam in the pocket. Arabic means if you find any Muslim, any Arabic literature on the floor in India, Pakistan, or any other non-Arab countries, when they find they'll kiss it and put it in the pocket. As though it's Allah's kalam. It is a snake in the house. There are various posters. I didn't have time to get it. When you read it, oh Rabbana. The moment you see Rabbana, the next verse is Atina, Fid Dunya, Hasna. So we are trained. It is not Rabbana, it is Abbana, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Verse of the Bible. They distribute it among the Muslims. And we colorful. This is a photocopy. Four color job, beautiful. You put it in your house. They are using deceit. They are using deceit to enter our homes. I have given the talk on deceit by the Christian evangelism. Time doesn't permit me to go into details. That's a lecture by itself. You can speak for us together on each of these topics. And I remember since I subscribed to many of these Christian organizations, I've got a beautiful calendar. So one alim in our organization, mashallah, knows Arabic. How do you like the calendar? Oh, beautiful calligraphy. Can I take it home? I said, take it. He keeps it for a week. Then I ask him, how do you like the calendar? Beautiful, Zakir Bhai. I said, get it back. I said, why? I said, get it back. And I said, read it carefully. Then he realizes those are verses of the Bible in Arabic. The Christians have come out with a Bible, contextualization, a new Bible. If you read, it reads, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. They are taking verses from the Quran and converting it, changing a little bit, as though when Arab read will think it's the part of the Quran, actually it is Bible, known as contextualization. Kitab al Muqaddas. As I told you, time doesn't permit me. Just in brief, what we Muslims are doing. I come from India, which has a population of more than a billion people, out of which, safely you can say, 160 to 180 million are Muslims. We have many Muslim magazines for dawa purposes, etc. What is the quantity that they print in India? How much? 4,000, 5,000, 8,000. Number one. English Dawa magazine, Islamic voice, 15,000. I was in America a few years back. Before this trip, I was there. I did a survey. The maximum number of print, any English magazine, Dawa magazine, is by Isna, the message, 50,000. Do you know there is a small cult in Christianity called as Jehovah's Witnesses? outcast than the mainstream Christian. They print a magazine by the name of Watchtower. Do you know how much do they print? Monthly, how much do they print? Can anyone guess? We maximum in USA 50,000. How much do they print? Any guesses? You won't lose any money. Any guesses? How much? Huh? One million! Direct one million. Any other guesses? 50,000. Five lakh. Five million! Five million. One lakh. 100,000. You know how much they print? 20.83 million. Leave aside, we Muslim, we can't print, we can't even think. Leave aside printing, we can't even think. The Christian, a small outcast group known as Jehovah's Witnesses, they print two magazines out of one is Watchtower, which they print semi-monthly, not monthly, twice a month. Each time they print is 20.83 million, more than 20 million in 130 languages. They print every fortnight, twice a month they print. Every time they print is 20.83 million. Means every month they print more than 41 million in 130 languages. The second magazine 
is a week. They print 16 million twice a month, means more than 32 million. Four gala job. They give free. We Muslims leave aside printing, we can't even think. See, you don't have to pay any money to guess. Maximum was five million. They print 41 million every month. We can't even think. And they distribute free. Sometimes they keep a nominal price. In India, two rupees, 16 halala. What is 16 halala? Name say, if you want, they'll give you as many copies as you want free. In 130 languages, watch tower. A week, in 80 languages. This is how they propagate. And one of the media is giving lectures, giving talks. We had a talk, Islam Research Foundation, where I come from, in Bombay. I had a talk in Bombay, in Azad Maidan. And it was a, it was a good, big talk compared to the population. Bombay has a big population, but getting people in Bombay is very difficult. If you get 200 people for an Islamic talk in English, it is great success. That means they have done a great job because Bombay is a busy city. People don't have time to listen. We did a talk. The press said 200,000 people came, but we know it was 20,000 people. The press exaggerated. We know we were the organizer. I gave a talk on similarities between Hinduism and Islam. 20,000 people came. It was done professionally. We had Jimmy Jibs, big one, not the small one, big Jimmy Jib. We had nine cameras in a good way, professional way. Many Muslims said, ah, they might have spent a lot of money. Now that's lakh to kharcha ki. Nine or ten lakhs. At least one million rupees they might have spent. Israf. They might have spent at least ten lakhs. It is eighty thousand dirhams. At least twenty thousand dollars they have spent. Israf. They don't know what they actually spent. What they actually spent was about twenty eight to thirty lakhs. It is three times more than they estimate. We spent sixty thousand dollars. About two hundred and fifty thousand dirhams. You know why I'm telling this? Immediately two weeks after that, Benny Hinn. Who has heard of Benny Hinn? He's an American Christian speaker. He's an American preacher. How many people have heard of Benny Hinn? Raise your hand. Benny Hinn. Hardly 40, 30 people may have raised their hand. In an audience of about eight to 10,000 people here, more than 8,000 people, only 20, 30 hands I can see who has heard of Benny Hinn. Unknown. Very popular person. Even I did not know Benny Hinn till he came to Bombay. He comes to Bombay and six weeks after our talk, he has three lectures on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for three hours each. Three hours each, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know how much he spends? People are saying, oh, Dr. Zakir, like $20,000 he spent. Actually, we spent $60,000. If they come to know, they will blame me more. Israf. You know how much he spent? How much? Now he left Thailand. He spent $5 million. Only for nine hours, $5 million in the city of Bombay. What a budget they have. $5 million. The press said that more than 2 million people came, but actually less than 100,000 people came. Even getting 100,000 people in Bombay, out of which more than 50% were non-Christians. I went to attend that program. They had these Jimmy Jibs. They had Jimmy Jibs flown from America. Nine American people came two weeks to one month in advance to prepare for the talk. One month staying in a five-star hotel, a white American. He comes three days in advance to check the system. They had 32 screens. You know this screen? That bigger screen than this, 32. We had 500 volunteers, we are proud. 500 volunteers, they had 7,000 volunteers. Christians, not even 3% of the Indian population, they're not even 3%. $5 million, they spent more than 20 crore rupees. More than 200 million rupees they spent. Imagine, they flew over the crew. And only for one program, three hours, three days, and he goes back. If you know the budgets of these Christian missionary organizations, on average, it is more than a million dollars a day. Jimmy Swagat, who debated with Sheikh Ahmed Didat, he required more than $400 million annually to keep his head above water. 
more than $1 million a day is the budget. We are nothing. I don't know for any Islamic Dawa organization in the world which even has 10% of that budget. Any Dawa organization, I have traveled different parts of the world. But the professionalism that they have, these Christian missionaries, they are trained. They are trained in giving talks. We hardly know of any Islamic Dawa organization who trains people in public speaking. Today, scientific research tells us that if a person gives a talk on the stage in public, the matter he speaks carries only 7% weightage. Only 7%. 93% is presentation skills. How does he modulate his voice, his eye-to-eye -eye contact, his gestures? The reason I don't have a podium is why, not that I have a very good physique, is because I want to have my body language, even my body speaking. We in Islamic Research Foundation Bombay, we train professionally Muslims how to convey the message of Islam. We train not only Indians, we even train foreigners. We have got Americans who have come to our organization. We have got Britishers, people from Singapore, from UAE, from Malaysia, from Saudi Arabia. Scholars who have passed from Madhya University. We train them, we specialize in the field of how to convey the message of Islam. How many Muslim organizations we have? Imagine, how can I die? How can I go in the battlefield without my weapon? If the microphone system is not good, how can I fight? This is my weapon. But when Muslim organizations call me throughout the world, they keep me in a five-star hotel, but the sound system is useless. When I accept an invitation, I tell them, the sound system should be good. I will sleep on the floor, no problem. I don't require a five-star hotel. I'm a die. I can sleep on the floor. But give me a good sound system, it doesn't cost much. But give a professional good sound system to hire doesn't cost much, it is much less. A small percentage of paying the bill for a five-star hotel. They keep me in a five-star hotel, but they don't realize the importance of the sound system. What we Muslims should do, we should train ourselves in the media to specialize in the field of public speaking is a speciality. Print media is a different speciality. Audio media is a different speciality. Video media is a different speciality. We have to be specialized. And today, we have radio broadcast stations. How many Muslims are doing their job? How many? We have the computer, we have the internet. When the internet started, there was more information against Islam than for Islam on the internet. Now, alhamdulillah, there are some Muslims who have also got into the field but the Christians are ahead of us. The moment we give a reply, they give the counter reply on the internet. And the sites are such, I don't want to name them, I don't want to make them popular. The sites are such, you will think it is an Islamic site. You'll go to it, it is a snake in your sleeves. The magazine that they print, they have organizations in India, Darul Nijat, home of salvation. Arabic name, who is the president? Sultan. Sultan who? Sultan Paul. <laughs> Nidai Umid, call for hope. It's a Christian organization, so please don't go on names. Same on the internet you go, I don't want to give the names of this site, otherwise everyone will go, and many will get misguided. They give such information which a normal Muslim, even he will not be able to reply. They pick up verses of the Quran and they attack. So as I told you, the media, the media is good as well as bad. It is positive as well as negative, like a knife. It can be used for good purpose and for wrong purpose. If you cut vegetables and bread, it is good. If you use for robbing, it is bad. Similarly, the media has got advantages and disadvantages. It has got positive points, it has got negative points. It has good things, it has got bad things. What we should do, we should utilize the science and technology and turn the tables over and utilize it for good work. Today, majority of the media is used for work which is not good. That's the reason most of the ulma, most of the shiuks, they say that the media stay away from it and I'm for them. I'm not against them, I'm for them. Because most of the thing that comes in your house, the satellite channel, 
it makes you go away from Islam rather than towards Islam. And today's Tarish Sister, the number one media today is the television media, the television satellite media. Today's statistics tell us there are more than 20,000 television stations. 20,000 television stations reaching 5 billion people of the world. More than 80% of the human beings are reached via the television media. This is the survey. Means if you take part in the television media, the television media, the satellite media is reaching 80% of the world population. 5 billion people. And the investment in this media is how much? $400 billion. $400 billion is the investment in this media, and people are churning money out of it. The majority, more than 98%, more than 99% is haram. Haram. Obscenity, misinformation, taking away from the truth, more than 99%. We have to utilize it and turn the tables over. Imagine $400 billion invested only in the television media. Christians owning 50 channels, 100 channels, just making money out of it. In America alone, there are 1,673 television stations, out of which 83 are religious channels. Majority, almost all, they are Christian channels. Majority. Throughout the world, there are hundreds of Christian channels. Hundreds. There are Hindu channels. There are Jain channels. How many Muslim channels do we have? How many? In India, we have several Hindu channels. We have in India Christian channels in regional language. In English, we have several channels. We have in the regional South Indian languages only for a part of India, specialized targeting. There are hundreds of Christian channels. Number one is the God TV. Who has heard of the God TV? Oh, mashallah, more people know of God TV than many him. God TV was launched about 10 years ago in 1995 by a Britisher. But it is uplinked from Israel. Do you know at present they are on 15 different satellites, reaching more than 200 countries and having a viewership of 275 million people. 275 million people is the reach. 200 countries, 15 satellites they have hired. The God Channel is one, but there were separate God Channel for Asia, separate for Europe separate for America, separate for India. Specialization. Like how the BBC. There's BBC World is different, BBC Asia is different, BBC Europe is different. Why? The 90% the matter is same. But they want to even take advantage of the prime time. Prime time in UK is different than in UAE. It is different in Bombay. So according to the prime time, they cater the program and they shift the timings. So they hire different satellites. So God channel is one of the most popular among the Christian missionary channels. But Christian channels, there are hundreds of them. How many Islamic channels do we have? I know of many Muslims owning many entertainment channels. Many, 5, 10, 20, many. I don't want to name them, you may be knowing. They have groups of channels. How many Islamic channels do we have? How many channels do we have for Dawah? The first one that was launched was by Qadianis, MTVA, Muslim TV Ahmadiyya. They aren't Muslims. Muslim TV Ahmadiyya, and it even comes in UAE, in Dubai. Muslim TV Ahmadiyya. Normally, when you see that channel, you think it's a Muslim channel. The name is also Muslim TV, but they aren't the true mainstream Muslims. They aren't. Alhamdulillah, about eight years back, the first Islamic channel launched was Ikra TV, but mainly it was Arabic. Then we have Majad TV, then we have Fajr. But all these channels, they are basically Arabic channels catering to the Muslim Ummah. They're mainly targeting the Middle East. 
they are Islamic channels, but you will not call them as Dawa channels. They aren't channels which are propagating Islam to non-Muslims, but mainly catering to the Muslim Ummah. We have other channels which are localized only in Europe. We have other channels which are localized in other parts of the world. What we require is a full-time 24 hours Dawa channel to convey the message of Islam, to remove the misconception what the media is spreading against Islam. I was here a few years back, again, on the invitation of the Holy Quran Award Dubai. And that time it came in headlines in the local newspaper, I think it was Khalij Times, the Dr. Zakir Naik calls for an Islamic TV. I had given a lecture in Alboom. The topic was different, but in the question and answer session, I said, we Muslims require a full-time satellite Dawa channel in English, which is the international language. We have newspapers which are in local language, only in Urdu. Who reads it? Only the Muslims in India or in Pakistan. We have Arabic newspaper read only by the Arab Muslims. See, this should be there. I'm not saying this is wrong. But what we require is a Dawa newspaper, a Dawa satellite channel. Alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, I always believe in the philosophy that whatever the project is, don't wait if the project is big. See, we are a very small organization. If the project is big, whatever Allah has given you, start with it. If you have a thousand riyals, a thousand dirhams, start with it. Inshallah, you'll get success. So eight years back, we started producing programs for satellite channel. And alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, we are supplying every day for half an hour to two hours to more than six international satellite channels. Six every day. Not only to Muslim channels like Ikra TV, QTV, ARY Digital Islam channel, even to non-Muslim channels, film song channel, ETC, 24 film song haram, at least half an hour there is halal. They see a joker looking person. They see a joker-looking person. Who is the joker-looking person wearing a coat and a cap and a kufiya and a tie? And somebody is asking a question that why does Islam permit a man to have more than four wives? Ah, abhi maza aenga, now we'll enjoy. And then the reply comes logically. And many are convinced. So what we have done, we have always said, this is a material free. Don't pay us. Because when we go to that we have spent so many thousands of dollars producing it, the moment we charge, Maximum them issue is once a week. We say take it free. And mashallah, most of them show it daily. Because they're getting it free. We will get a sawab in the akhira. Inshallah. As I mentioned that few years back in Alboom, I had mentioned that there should be Islamic TV, a Dawa channel. Alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, you'll be happy to know that inshallah, inshallah, in the next two to three weeks, we will be launching an Islamic Dawah channel by the name of Peace TV. We don't have the budgets like the Christian missionary. We don't have. We are very small. Small people. Whatever we have, inshallah. We have called it the Peace TV. So the media is with war with Islam, but we are with peace with humanity. Peace, in Arabic, Salam, it also means Islam, and inshallah, it will be a Dawah oriented channel, initially reaching Europe, Australia, Africa, Middle East, and Asia. We'll be on Pan Am Sat 10, initially. Later on, within a few months, we'll even go to USA, inshallah, and very shortly, Within one year, inshallah, we'll try and cover this full globe, inshallah. It will basically be an English satellite channel, but we don't want to lose the time which is not a prime time. What is not prime time in Europe and the English countries, it will be prime time in India and Pakistan. That time we will show programs in Hindi and Urdu, so that we also want to cover the non-Muslims of India. So 25% initially will be in Hindi and Urdu, 75% will be in English, inshallah. And I request you to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah, with this Peace TV, we'll be able to spread the religion of peace throughout the world, inshallah.
eliminating God, the eliminating models of God. You learn Sanskrit, go back to your scriptures, go back to your Vedas and realize that God is one. Division in Islam is prohibited. We understand the concept of God in Hinduism. Quran is the most positive book. Every day, more than 3,000 fetuses are being aborted in India after they identified that they're females. According to the statutes of 1996, U.S. Department of Justice, 2,730 women are being raped every day. Every 32 seconds, one woman is being raped. I've been raped in U.S. until the time I'm here. Islam has the solutions to the problems of the West. media, they are bombarding misinformation about Islam. Some of the international news channels, they are saying, war for peace. The Islamic madrasas should be banned. Why? Because they produce human beings who cause terror. Today they say that Islam is the religion which was spread by the sword. Today, more than 80% of the Indians, they are non-Muslim. If we wanted, we could have converted every Indian at the point of the sword. We didn't do it. Islam does not give us permission. These 80% non-Muslim Indians, they are giving shahada. They are bearing witness that Islam was not spread by the sword. Today, the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. The fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. I am asking who is forcing these Americans, these Europeans, to accept Islam at the point of the sword? Before 9-11, the maximum allegation about the media was that Islam does not give rights to the women. Do you know, out of those people accepting Islam, including in America and Europe, out of those non-Muslims accepting Islam, two-thirds are women. If Islam degrades the woman, then why do these American women, why are these European women accepting Islam? Why? Because Islam has the solution to the problem of humankind, especially the womankind. They find security in Islam. After 9-11, in the span of nine months, in USA alone, 34,000 Americans accepted Islam. According to Yuan Redley, in a span of nine to 10 months after 9-11, 22,000 Europeans accepted Islam. The more they're attacking Islam, the more Islam is rising. As I mentioned that few years back in Al Boom, I'd mentioned that there should be Islamic TV, a Dawa channel. Alhamdulillah, Summa, Alhamdulillah, you'll be happy to know that inshallah, inshallah, in the next two to three weeks, we will be launching an Islamic Dawa channel by the name of Peace TV. We don't have the budget for the Christian missionary. We don't have. We are very small. Small people. Whatever we have, inshallah. We have called it the Peace TV. So the media is with war, with Islam, but we are with peace with humanity. Peace. In Arabic, salam. It also means Islam. And inshallah, it will be a Dawa oriented channel, initially reaching Europe, Australia, Africa, Middle East, and Asia. We'll be on Pan Am Sat 10 initially. Later on, within a few months, we'll even go to USA, inshallah. 
and very shortly within one year inshallah we'll try and cover